Hi everyone, my name is Katie Clark, and if you all could stand up, that would be great. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Garrett, and if everyone could touch the sky. Hi, my name is Yodit Marisi, if we could stretch our arms to one side, and switch. Hi, my name is Sarah Skinner, and if you could all do three jumping jacks on my count. One, two, three. And hi, I'm Kathleen Stevens, and everyone could do a quick little hamstring stretch with me. Switch. <laughs> okay, and the name of our project is YWLP Moves. You guys are free to have a seat now. <laughs> Did you all know that one in three Americans between the ages of 2 and 19 were reported as being overweight in 2012 by the CDC? Additionally, in the last 30 years, obesity rates in children have doubled, and in adolescents, they've quadrupled. Why, you may ask. The answer is a calorie imbalance caused by unhealthy eating habits and decreasing amounts of time spent doing physical activity each day. Despite these facts, schools continue to offer unhealthy options in their school lunches and vending machines, and they continue to cut down the time spent doing physical activity each day. This is particularly concerning because studies have shown that habits learned in adolescence carry over to adulthood. The good news is that recent research has shown that in-school intervention programs have had positive effects on adolescents' eating habits and physical activity habits. To address these problems, we sought to add a fitness and wellness component to an existing mentoring program called YWLP. YWLP stands for Young Women Leaders Program. It's a program in which college-age women are matched with local middle school youth and talk about and meet at the middle school each week. The middle schoolers are referred to as little sisters. The mentors are referred to as big sisters. And the college women who, to, who run the weekly meetings are referred to as facilitators. So within YWLP, our team created eight weeks of targeted moves curriculum. This curriculum was based off of focus groups conducted in spring of 2013 with rising eighth graders. We then used additional focus groups throughout the current school year to gauge our results. Two eighth grade groups participated in moves and the sessions were held twice per month during one hour of the two hour weekly meeting. The components included physical activity, healthy eating, and body image, which we'll discuss more in depth. With our overall goal of empowering young women to lead healthier lives, we had three main objectives. The first was to make physical activity fun, the second was to make healthy eating tasty, and the third was to address problems of body image. We also had a secondary goal of making this program adoptable and sustainable so that other schools and after school communities could use this program to address obesity. In our preliminary focus groups, we found a lot of negative attitudes towards physical activity in the girls, a lot of them thinking of things such as pain and sweat. So this led us to our first objective of showing the girls that physical activity could be fun. We did this by having them engage in non-traditional exercise such as relay races and Zumba. And as you can see in this picture is um, some of the results of the girls actually having fun doing physical activity. And in our um, follow-up focus groups, we had the girls say things such as, after doing the relay, I wanted to start running more. We also found in our original focus groups that some perceived barriers to eating healthy were the lack of healthy foods available at home, as well as some misconceptions about healthy food choices. With this in mind, we aim to provide healthy snacks within the sessions, as well as to teach the girls how to make smart choices both at home and at school. We found that when the girls were given choices, the healthy snacks went over really well, and they even tried some new foods like hummus that they really enjoyed. We were all excited that the girls asked us to keep bringing healthy snacks beyond our move sessions. Our third objective was to address problems of body image. Specifically, we wanted to address the problem that health, healthiness, healthfulness and thinness are not synonymous, which is what a common misperception that the girls had during the focus groups. To address this, we looked at teen magazines and other media portrayals of women, such as the Dove Real Beauty campaign. 
we discussed how these portrayals of women were realistic or not, as well as had a fruitful conversation about how to better love your body. So even though we had a lot of really quality focus groups and got a lot of good data, there were a few things that could have limited our data. And these included small focus groups of about 16 girls total, uh, a limited amount of time that we were able to collect our data, and also um, focus groups that occurred many weeks after we uh, had the girls do the YWLP Moves activities. So with the focus groups that we conducted halfway through the sorry, um, with the focus groups that we conducted halfway through the year, um, the girls wanted more, more, more. They wanted competitive sports such as basketball and soccer and relay races. Um, and with that being said, we believe that more move sessions would have contributed to an even more positive outcome. So with the positive feedback feedback that we did get. Um, we added a YWLP moves component to UVA Day, and UVA Day is when the um, original YWLP girls, the 7th and 8th graders, come to UVA for fun and empowering activities. Um, we added healthy workshops such as trail mix bar um, and physical activity classes as Zumba and self-defense. So looking towards the future, we found that the girls had a lot of fun and they learned a lot about healthy eating, physical activity, and learning to love and accept their bodies the way that they are. Um, this program was easy and, and an inexpensive curriculum that can be adopted in any other after school um, program that we hope will just take off from here. And we would like to thank all of the listed groups and individuals for all the support you've given us over the past year and a half.